the question that we are going to solve in this video is what is the salary above which the top 10% of the computer engineers earn? A variation of this question appears in any textbook of statistics. Of course, to answer it, we need to know how the salaries of these engineers are distributed. So we need to have some information of the probability distribution of the engineer salaries. So let's make some assumptions. We are going to assume that the mean salary of the computer engineer is $125,000 per year. And let's assume also that the standard deviation is 46,875. Knowing these two values, and also assuming that the salaries are normally distributed, we can answer this question. And we can answer other questions. For example, we can answer also what is the salary below which 10% of the computer engineers earn. So let's answer first, what is the salary below which 10% of the computer engineers earn? Let's take note of the information we have. We have that new, the mean is 125,000. And also we know that the standard deviation is 46,875. And the question is, what is this value x such that the probability that the random variables is less than this x is equal to 0.10 or 10%? We are symbolizing the random variable, the computer engineer salaries as x, the capital X here. So we have in mind a distribution like this. It's a bell-shaped distribution, so it's the normal distribution. And here in the middle, we know that we have the $125,000. And we are thinking in the very small area here, 10%, and looking for a number x in such a way that only 10% of the computer engineers are located here. So. The 10% of the salaries are located below this x, and we are going to find this x. So it will be better think about the normal standard distribution. And the normal standard distribution have as a random variable z. If we know this z, we can put this z in the equation that relates the z score with the x value and solve for x. So we can type z equal x minus mu divided by sigma and found z from another part of the world and replace the value of z here. We know the value of mu, we know the value of sigma, and the only that we need to do is just solve this equation for x. So let's do it. Let's find this z. One place where we can find this value, z, from the normal distribution table. So let's take a normal distribution table. And in the normal distribution table, we have the areas. So the only that we need to do is find a value z that have the area of 10% at the left. Obviously, in the table that we have here, we don't have areas at the left. The information of areas that we have are areas between a number and zero, the number and the center of the graph. But if we know here in this distribution that this is 10%, we know that this will be 40% between z and zero. So I'm going to find a value z that have 40% between it and zero. So let's find in the area this 40%. And I know here is 0 0.3962, and I continue, let's put this a little bigger. 0 0.3980, 0 0.3997. I think this is the closer value to 0 0.40. And this value, 0 0.3997, corresponds to 1.28. So the value z will be 1.28. But we notice also that this z is negative. If at the less of 0, if this is 10%, this z will be at the left. So the value of z will be negative 1.28. And the only that I need to do now is just replace mu and sigma and find the value of x. In Excel, and if you want to find the value of z, you need to use the normal standard inverse 
function in Excel that give you the value Z if you know the area. The area that we use in Excel are the area to the left of the number. And the area that we have here to the left is 10%. So I'm going to type in whatever cell of Excel equal normal standard inverse of 10% of 0 0.10. So put the 0 0.10 into brackets and press enter. And obviously it will give you the same value. It will be a value with more decimals in Excel, but you can round it to two decimals is negative 1.28. So let's make a substitution. So Z is definitely negative 1.28. And now let's make a substitution. The value of mu is 125,000. The value of sigma is 46,875. So if we make the substitution, this will be the equation. And solving for x will be very easy. The only that you need to do is just cross multiply and add both sides 125,000. That produce this equation. And if you use your calculator, you notice that the value of x will be 65,000. So we can say that 10% of the computer engineers earn less than 65,000. The second of this question is, what is the salary about which the top 10% of the computer engineers earn? So what is the value x for which the probability that the computer engineers earn more than this is 10%. So again, we are thinking in a normal distribution like this, the mean is in the center. And the area here is 10%. And we are thinking in a value x, such as that the probability that the random variable take a value more than this x is 10%. So again, we think in the standard normal distribution and we are going to look for a value z. And this value z is the one that satisfies this condition, z equal x minus mu divided by sigma. And also, we are going to find the value z in the table. And we have the table. And again, we'll be, we're getting the same number because it will be the 10%. If this is 10%, this here will be 40%. And of course, we have the same value. 1.28. But in this case, it will be positive. So the value z is 1.28. And if you're going to look that in Excel, what you need to tell Excel is the area at the left of this value z. And the area at the left will be 90%. So this 0 0.5 plus this 0 0.4, 90%. Or you can think if this is 10%, we have 90% at the left. Remember, always put all the area at the left of the value that you are looking for. So it will be normal inverse of 0 0.90. And this is 1.28. So type the equation, making the substitution of each of the values, and solve for x. Again, we have the same. We cross multiply and add 125,000 to each of the two sides of the equation. So we have that the value x will be equal to this. If you do that in your calculator, you found that x equal 185,000. And that means that 10% of the computer engineers earn more than 185,000. That it was that we were looking for. So now we know that 10% of the computer engineers earn more than 185,000. There are many questions that we solve with the same technique. In each of them, you are looking for the value of a normal random variable that satisfies a condition. Another example could be this. The monthly sales of balls follow the normal distribution with a mean of 1,500 and a standard deviation of 250. The manufacturer would like to establish inventory levels such that there is only 50% chance of running out of stock. So in this case, we have that the mean is 1500, the standard deviation is 250, let's take note of this, and also the question is, what is this value of the random variable? In this case, it will be the number of balls that the customers buy, it will be in such a way that the probability that the customers buy more than this number is 15%. 
So again, we are thinking in a normal distribution that have a mean 1500 in this case, but we are thinking in an area at the top that is 15%, and we are looking for a value x that satisfies this condition. The probability of being more than this x is 15%. Again, for solving this, you use the normal standard distribution. And in the normal distribution, you find a value z. But, and this value will be the one that you're going to put in the formula. Then you look for this value, could be in the table or in, the, or in Excel, for this value, and put it in the formula. So I'm going to use the table first, and notice that if this is 15%, then it will be 35% between the value and zero. So look for this 35%. We could, let's put this a little bigger, 35%. And I notice that plus to 35% is this number, the closest one. And this number, 0 0.3508, corresponds to 1.04. So the value z will be 1.04. So I make a substitution z to 1.04. Of course, if you are using Excel, let's do it here at the bottom. If you are using Excel, then you are not going to be thinking in this 35%. You will be thinking in the whole area at the left of X or at the left of Z. That it will be 85%. So you are going to be using the normal standard inverse function in Excel that we have 0.85 as an argument. And then press Enter that give you the same value, of course. Now that you have this value of z, just make a substitution. Obviously, in this case, will be 1.04 equal x minus 1500 divided by 250. Just cross multiply and add 1500 at both sides. So you have this value. Use your calculator and you found that the value of x will be 7050, 1760. So we can answer that the company must maintain an inventory level of 7050, 1760 volt at the beginning of every month. And if the company do that, only 50% of the time will be running out of stock, and etc. So we can find a lot of questions in which you need to find the value x in a normal distributed variable. Okay, with that, I finish my explanation of these problems. Thank you.